Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom, I'm taught that I came out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity and still enduring in his truth. Alright, so I'm making this video real quick on uh, on the fact of dudes who didn't count the cost and fall out. And I was just thinking that, you know, how the scriptures say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai because. If you we know we know the um, the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai if you don't continue in this work. And really and um and the scriptures say that we persuade man with fear and we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we fear the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai if we don't do his will, which is being out there doing the work, uh increasing in the word and waking up the rest of the elect out there. And like brothers be saying, it's not like being a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai isn't hard. Like the scriptures say, um, my yoke, you know, my um, my yoke is pretty much easy to bear. Not quoting it verbatim, so it's not that difficult as far as doing the work and being in being a, a servant of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. It's just that dudes, they didn't, they're not really, they never was really chosen. Like the apostles always say, you're not part of the elect, and eventually it gets revealed. No matter how long they may be in there, it'd be dudes falling out that been in like four years, six years any longer and it's crazy like a dude who been in there longer falls out and you would think that a dude who hasn't even been in the truth for a long time will fall out before a guy that's been in it for like four years or more because he's been in it longer right you would think that he's more grounded and all but really he was never grounded with his faith all right so i'm gonna hit this scripture right here this it says luke 14 and 28 for which of you intending to build a tower set of not down first and count up the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it and like the apostles would be saying in their sit downs a lot of guys they didn't they don't really they don't know what they're into they just joined it just cut for something to do and to have friends or you know they wasn't accepted or part of anything in the world so now they feel like they're gonna come in to the truth and make something of themselves they basically in it for all the wrong reasons. We're the the real men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're in this to receive salvation. We actually counted the cost. Like we actually considered the fact that um, that you may I might be put to death or I may be um, I may not I may not endure to the end and be a martyr for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we actually considered and thought about it and like we um, persuaded ourselves in our own mind. All right. So we counted the cost, like, am I really, if I join this, am I really going to be, am I really going to be dedicated to this? If I start doing the, if I commit myself to doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, am I actually going to continue to do it? And really, we are uh, hearing that hope and knowing the things that come, that's going to come in the, ahead of time. We actually consider all these different things, these different aspects as far as the truth goes. And we counted the cost, like, man, it's nothing, pretty much there's nothing here for us. The only thing... That can deliver us from all the things that we deal with in society today is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And from the things that are coming, man, what, what's going to really save you? It's nothing nothing that you can do physically to stop Esau when he comes and when he's coming in these times of, of Jacob's trouble. All the, the weapons and all this other technology and stuff that Esau has, man, there's no stopping it. So we we are we was we was firmly grounded like once we we already knew that our only salvation and hope is in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and there's no other alternative, man. So we counted the cost. All right, verse forty nine. Least happily, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, and that's exactly what you see happen when dudes fall out. They think that. You can just disappear and we never going to bring you up. No, man, we going to bring your ass up because you, you didn't count the cost. And then on top of that, you didn't even finish. Like I said, it's right here. You didn't even finish your, 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 your tower that you were building. All right. You didn't even finish it. You just started and stopped and then just went back, you know, to doing other bullshit that you were doing before you came in the truth. So we're going to mock you because now you just look like a dumbass. You made an ass out of yourself. You, jo you chose to join something that you couldn't even continue being a part of. Alright? That's like a guy who, um, 
that's not that's like a well a guy comparing it to a guy who joins a football team, or whatever. You go into practice and all, and you know when you were foot on a football team or any team in general in sports in school, you the group of dudes that's on the team they down there form form a a bond like you know a body or somewhat in that in the sports sense, and then. When a guy basically, when y'all going through training before even um, y'all going through drills and all that in a um, football camp or a basketball camp, whatever, and before the, the season starts, you got to do the drills and practices and everything. And a guy that was like, he started out coming to practice. You've seen him there every week, every day. He coming to practice, getting it in, and then before the season starts, he just gives up. Y'all gonna y'all gonna mock him and talk shit about him, scoff. Because he was like, damn, man, what was the point of even coming and going to the, the tryouts and everything and then getting, making it on a team, coming to the, um, coming to the practices and all, and then you just quit out of nowhere before the game even starts. Everybody just gonna look at you, like it says right here, everybody gonna look at you and see, and see that you didn't finish, and we, they gonna laugh at you. So that's what the men of Yahab Bashim Yahab Shai do when it, a, a nigga can't finish the work basically in your mind you you think that you're still doing the work like you every dude that fall out right they say um they be like oh, i'm still gonna go out there i'm gonna still do the work of the lord i'm just not going to be under that um the the so-called the title of G gms but i'm gonna still teach the doctrine this and that and they never do that they don't even teach any doctrine really they just they just talk out of their heart don't even revert, um, don't even go back to the scriptures. And if they do, they just go off on the scriptures because they over there, they, they're they they're just, the spirit left them. So it's not going to flow. All right. So this is Matthew's chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock that's right man so brothers that's that's well grounded in this truth man no matter what comes anything any type of hell or affliction or whatever comes across them man or they come they come across i should say they 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 um they pass it man they they keep enduring they keep moving forward because the house was founded upon a rock all right they got that that real foundation that strong foundation to where their house isn't going to move and fall down they're not wavery they know what they they know what they um they knew what they were doing when they built their house all right like they, like i said in luke they counted the cost so they built they built they they built their house right that's why they're considered a wise man and every verse 26 and every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain and and the floods and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it so the dudes who were foolish man you 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 didn't have no foundation really because anybody like it says right here if you build a, if your house is built on sand it's going to fall like you you be seeing all the time on the news people houses that are built by close by the beach shore and stuff when it'd be heavy uh heavy uh hurricanes or floods and uh tsunamis and stuff like that where water is brushing up against the shore their house fall ends off falling man and it's a great fall like it says right here so that's how it's compared to a nigga in his truth. He built his, his foundation was already built upon sand when he first came in. It was just a matter of time before, like it says right here, and the rain descended and floods came. It was and winds blew and beat upon that house. So it was just a matter of time before he started catching hell and Satan started beating upon his house and sending these different, these different uh, just trying you. Satan just been trying you, testing you. And then you just said, fuck it, just like, you know, your house just fucking fell over. And it was a great fall because a lot of times when dudes fall out, they don't just like, some uh, some dudes, they'll fall back and just disappear. Some guys, they really, they fall out and just go like deep into the abyss, like all the way, just fully, fully um, embody just Satan, straight up.
Because the shit they be doing is just out of pocket. If you were really about teaching your own doctrine and stuff, you would just do that. You wouldn't have to say shit, really. You don't. You wouldn't have to prove yourself, prove a point or nothing. You would just go out there and, claim, and do everything you claimed you was going to do. Teach the right way. Show our people what they're supposed to be about. But really, they don't. They are not going to do that. They're in the hands of Satan at that time, so they're doing the bidding of Satan and whatever Satan wants them to do. So man, it's basically that was the, that was the it on that, and pretty much, man. It's, that's why it's a fearful thing. Like I said in the beginning, when I far I started, because if you continue. If you don't continue to do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you you pretty much are going to be judged for it. You're going to be put to death, like point blank, period. Because you was in His truth to receive salvation. So if you fall out, what are you going to receive? The opposite of salvation, which is destruction. So with that, again, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders which rule well and are not sorcerers and actually teach us the true way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and show us the way that be according to the scriptures and Shalom to all the Akim out there enduring in his truth and still pushing man stay up keep enduring and stay strong man Shalom